This is the PlayStation 3 Sharpshooter Controller Accessory. It's a plastic shell you put your PlayStation Move controllers into to make it feel more realistic when you shoot bad guys on your TV. Now, it's a pretty cool looking design, but it's a little front heavy because both of the controllers are in the front there, so it's not really that comfortable to use for extended play sessions. So naturally, I'm going to beat the entirety of Killzone 3 with it. I'm going to go with Recruit difficulty because I'm playing with the gun controller. Press trigger to aim and take him out. Ooh, okay. This is pretty fun, actually. No scope, no scope. Ooh, the hip fire is insane. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong guy. Hold L2 to toggle lock. Oh, it locks on for you. Wow. Gives you auto aim. You can turn that feature off, but I'm not gonna. Get close to an enemy and jab the controller forward to perform a brutal melee. Oh my god, capital B, brutal melee. Get him. Shake it. Yeah. I'm sorry I doubted the Sony PS Move sharpshooter. This is actually very fun. How many guns can you have in this one? We can have one, two... Still two? Come on. There's four buttons on the D-pad. I should be able to carry four guns. For every extra gun you want to carry, you have to hold an extra PS Move sharpshooter controller. If you want to carry, like, four guns, you have to have, like, four of them strapped to your body. Oh, no, the bad guys turned the valve in this one? I thought only good guys could turn valves. Holy crap. Glad they kept this in. This is the best feature of the Killzone franchise. Where's the Hellgan at? Any, any Hellgans? I don't see any. There's one. Yeah, thanks, auto lock on. Man, the minigun's a lot less heavy in this one. I can just kind of <laughs> do this with it. Wee! It was so heavy in Killzone 2. Die, Hellgan. Oh my god. Killzone 3 is the best game I've ever played in my life. This is so good. I did have to turn off controller rumble, though, because the controller was shaking every single time I shot, and it sounded like this when I was playing the game, so maybe that feature is not so great. Shotgun pistol. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Give me some more of that. Boom. I missed him. Boom, I missed him again. Imagine how cool that would have been if I didn't miss that guy. Who will get the chair, bald guy or Sting from Dune? Who will be the true leader of bad guy industries? I want the ISA dead within the hour. He wants the entire enemy faction dead within the hour? Like all of them? Oh God, red laser pointer snipers. They're gonna be my nemesis. 360, no scope, oh, I missed. 360, nah, he got me. 360, no scope, I got him. That counts, it was technically a no scope. The PlayStation gun controller is not great for the mech section. What you really want to use here is the steel battalion controller. Oh my God, stop talking. We're surrounded. <laughs> it's like every- Incoming bandits. <laughs> it's, it's like every two medic. seconds. Hang on, man. How many people are on the radio? Ah! This is for protagonist communication only. I motion that- I motion that you didn't proofread your subtitles in this game. Got an extra space bar in there. Oh no, the worst enemy of all. Space Tentacle. Take this, Space Tentacle. Ooh, Silence SMG from Killzone 1 makes its comeback. Heck yeah. This gun was the only good part about the entirety of Killzone 1. Thank God. Knee-high grass. Now we can crouch and take cover from the Hellgans. PlayStation move suppressed. <laughs> Headshot, I missed. Get him. He's getting, he's getting away. Stop him. Stop him. Why is this thing not automatic now? There we go. This time, I won't miss. Kill zone headshot. There we go. Only with the PS Move controller can you conduct an orchestra in Kill Zone 3. No, 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 no. Sergeant, what the hell are you doing? No, wait, let him finish. He's composing one of our greatest works. Oh, you know what would be so fun, though? PlayStation Move, no Russian. I'm probably gonna get put on a watch list for saying that, but that'd be awesome. For the for, for the part where you fight the airport cops, not the not the civilian part. That's what I mean, Neil Mohan. Don't demonetize my video. Brutal melee. Oh no, he brutal meleeed me. Come on, dude. That's my move. He didn't even shake his move controller. Imagine trying to occupy a planet where the flowers blow up. I would just leave that planet. I would simply not put my civilization on that planet, personally. Not a great tile to place your settlers on. Oh no, 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 no. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Yeah, that was close. Another one, brutal, brutal. Yeah. <laughs> this game's gonna give me PTSD. PlayStation Sharpshooter Disorder. Turn him into Mountain Dew. Yeah. That's her secret weapon is that Mountain Dew gun. It takes like 20 seconds to kill one guy. That gun sucks. Oh, frame rate, frame rate, frame rate, frame rate. Hello, frame rate. Can I have some frames, please? No, don't do it. Don't kill him. Oh my God, he killed him. No way, dude. The only easy day was yesterday, but it's PS Move version. Is Killzone 3 better than Modern Warfare 2? No, the, the, the answer is no, by the way. That was, a, that was a bit of a joke for you. Oh no, they fly now. Screw they fly now. I fly now. Hold Move to use the jetpack. Oh God. This is going to be a interesting section. Okay, just gotta get over to some solid ground and then not use a jetpack at all while I'm fighting these guys. Super jump. Burst of speed in the air. And land. 
This jetpack sucks. No wonder the first order lost to Ray. You're watching one-handed gaming. Just kidding, I had two hands the whole time. Fooled you though, didn't I? Imagine how easy it would have been to film Red versus Blue if Xbox had PlayStation Move controllers. They could have bobbed those heads in time with the dialogue perfectly. Oh God. Close quarters combat can be a bit tricky with this thing. It really excels at more mid to long range, but in these uh, close quarter scenarios, it's not the greatest. Like just going downstairs and turning 180 degrees is kind of painful. Whoa, we got the cow body. Brutal melee the cow body. Brutal, come on, you can't melee during this? Come on. What if I just walk into it, does that count? Yeah, there we go. Now that's what I call PS move. Behold, the ultimate weapon of the Hellgan army. A gun that takes longer to kill people than just shooting them with a normal bullet would. With this, we will surely defeat the good guys once and for all. Nice of the bad guys to put their plan to blow up the entire earth in PowerPoint format for them to find. They just left that lying around on a thumb drive, like Randy Pitchford out of Medieval Times. Today's forecast on Bad Guy Blue Planet is that it will be very extremely blue outside today. Good thing all us Hellgans wear red lenses the blue light of the outdoors combined with the red light of the Hellgans glasses makes it look 3D for them. Nobody move! Everyone stand absolutely still! Oh jeez. He said, oh jeez. Don't do it, Morty. Morty, you'll get Baja blasted. Don't do it. Oh my god. We just lost five guys. Not the burgers and fries. Hey, get out of here. This is my staircase. You better fall off that ladder. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hell. I knew I should have gotten my tetanus shot. Hey, should we just stand here while the grinder approaches? Yeah, let's do that. Let's run away from it in a straight line as well. Army guys really batting a thousand today. Oh my god, guys. You're never gonna believe this. I found Minecraft Villager in Killzone 3. Ah. Killzone 3 is the first ever game where you can put on your own shadow puppet show. Hey, man, did you hear about the latest news? No, I didn't. What is the news? terrible bit. My review of the Killzone 3 Scarab from Halo is this is the worst Scarab from Halo ever. In terms of gameplay, not in terms of how effective it is. It's pretty strong, but it takes like an hour to kill this thing and it's not fun. Die, Scarab from Halo. Die. Get hit by my minigun. Die. Come on. Just explode already, please. Just blow up. How many times do I have to shoot you with my gun for you to blow up? There we go. R.I.P. Scarab. You won't be missed. This uh, this PlayStation Move gun is getting kind of heavy. Who would have thought the PlayStation Move is in the most ergonomic of accessories? It's fun. It's a fun gimmick, but uh, might give you some aches and pains if you're a bit of a boomer gamer. 1v1 to figure out who gets to rule Hellgan forever. Will be Mustache Guy or Sting from Dune Guy? Where are you, Sting from Dune? He's standing right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> the bad guy got killed by the vending machine. I always thought vending machine deaths were a myth, but I finally witnessed one with my own PlayStation eye. Oh god, why did it have to be a Mountain Dew vending machine? What is it doing to his face? He didn't die? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Brutal, 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 brutal. Get him. Get him, melee. Oh god, there's so many of them. <laughs> Keep getting him. Oh my god. Now that was brutal melee. Yes, kill 10 hell cam with the brutal melee. You know I get that brutal melee achievement. I earned that one. Oh no, do I gotta fly it? Oh god. Star Fox time. Die, green ball. You cannot resist the wrath of my many missile pods. Is it gonna blow up? Three more ignited. Three more? Three more ignited? I thought we were gonna kill it. I thought that was the weak spot that killed the whole ship. Alright, sorry, I gotta play a little bit more Star Fox. This level is longer than I thought. I went down the wrong path. I can't believe it's going to explode. Will I escape to be in the sequel? Let me just use my evil keyboard to write the script and make sure I'm in the fourth game. Sorry, general bad guy. Nobody wants to read your Killzone fan fiction. And then the entire planet got hit by Mountain Dew. And they all lived gamer fuel ever after. Killzone 3 with the PS Move Sharpshooter Accessory Review. The gun controller is very fun. I thought it was gonna be painful, but it turns out using the gun makes the game really, really good. Until you get to like the last hour, Hour, and it's just one hallway and Scarab from Halo. But, but what game doesn't have one hallway for the last hour? In conclusion, I am shocked that I'm about to say this, but I recommend you get a PlayStation Sharpshooter and play Killzone 3 with it. The PS Move walked so PSVR could also walk. Be sure to tune in next time when I play High Velocity Bowling.